Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another Simply Colorful Fibercast. Today's date is March 12th, 2021. My name is Lynn Marquardt, and I am your host. Now, let me check that date. Was I right? Yes. <laughs> I'm so glad you could join me. Grab a project and let's see what we can accomplish together in the next few minutes. Today, we are starting yet another scrap quilt. No bought fabric here. This is the last one we started a few weeks ago, and all that's left to do is put the binding on. I know it's very bright and red, but I like it. And that was our crumb quilt that we started in Valentine's Day. Hi, Linda. Hi, Maggie. Hi, Carol. Good to see you all, too. So that was our last scrap quilt. Now, this one, the next one that I want to make is inspired by a scrap quilt I found online. I do not know the maker or the, the pattern, but it's going to be my inspiration, and it is one and a half inch squares. So I'm making nine patches today, tonight. And what I did was, so that's what I'm going to do tonight, and I'm also going to to go through some sayings from this book called Old Age is Always 15 Years Older Than I Am. You may have seen it. It was written by Randy Voorhees. That's a New Jersey name, I think. Okay. Which of you is going to step up and put me out to pasture, said John Wayne, testifying before Congress about aging in America. Did we already go over this? Maybe we already read some of this. Anyway, we'll, we'll read a few quotes from that. And instead of pulling out my piles and piles of scraps, which are behind me in buckets, all I'm going to work from today is this. And I would challenge you to do that. Just pull a pile of your scraps and see what you can make out of it. So when I look at this inspiration quilt... I notice they're playing with lights and dark values, light and dark values. So for my nine patches, look at this. I have this whole thing of neutrals. These will make great light values. And let's see. Okay. The center and the four squares are dark values. So let me, and they're all different in color too. So let me turn on my... There's a nice dark one. Okay, my iron is hot. You can see my iron, right? Ooh, and that will melt. I don't want to do that. Here's some nice light. Here's another light. This, I didn't even check to see if I have my um, my cutter. Hmm. And I don't. So let's see what if I do here. <laughs> oh, I wanted to show you Buster's down underneath. Hi, Sue. Happy Friday night. Check this out. Buster and I went walking in the state park. I don't know if you can see him, but that's him sleeping in a box right under my table right now. Oh, Fox News. Uh-oh, COVID outbreak. Just when we were thinking COVID was over. So he's doing great. He was such a good boy. We went to the Hopkinton State Park and had a good time. Okay. And hopefully I'm going again on Sunday if it doesn't snow. The last time we tried to go, it snowed. Okay. So how has everyone been? Hi, Pamela. So glad you could join. Now, who's gotten their vaccine? I told you the last time I went to Tumbleweeds, 
I don't know if I did tell you this. They said every single person who comes into their shop talks about whether they've had the vaccine, whether they plan to, whether they're not. And it's true. And I feel bad. The, the operators were not very happy. I'm going to go get a box of scraps. Hang on. Oh, no. No, I'm not. I'm changing my mind. I'm getting my cutter. Whoops. Okay. Why well, get just one cutter when you can get two? When you can find two. Oh. Anywho, what was I talking about? Oh, yes. So the quilt store personnel said everyone who comes in is telling them about the vaccine, which, of course, none of us have had anyone to talk to, really. But I can just taste the freedom. I was looking at old summer pictures from a few years ago and saw one of my nephew that, that made me chuckle. He, they're all, they're wonderful go-getters and they, you know, they have their, their jobs that they do. And he was mowing grandma's lawn. So this is my aunt Nancy and it was chilly. And I just came across the picture when Chili, unbeknownst, he was doing such a good job trying to get close to the garden, around the garden, he caught the raspberry netting. You know the bird netting that you put over the raspberries? And he got it all caught up in the mower. And don't you know that's the only picture I have of him with the mower bent over, my mother and Bob trying to help him get, of course it was all turned off and everything, trying to get the raspberry netting out of the mower blade. So, but it made me chuckle and made me yearn for being down there with, with everyone. Now I'm just cutting a few one and a half inch squares. Hi, Angela. Hi, Carol. Oh, yay. Yay. You guys are getting them. I'm so happy for you. That is just great. We were able, so now I'm going to share with you our status. Bob and I were able to sign up on the new Massachusetts well, website today, even though we're not yet in any of the categories that can be vaccinated, but the website lets you identify if you have any comorbidities or if you have none at all, you can at least register to, uh, to receive an alert. So we're in line is how I am thinking about it. I don't know if that's true, if they randomly pick. So when vaccines become available for our grouping, then I guess we get a text back that says, now it's time to go sign up. So we are another step closer. Okay, there are some... Ooh, isn't that pretty? I love that cave. But that's kind of medium or no, light maybe, depending on which one. I have such a hard time with medium values. Oh, here we go. Oh, tomorrow we have open sew from 11 to, I'll be there from 11 to 12, but you can go as long as you want. And I think last Saturday it was starting to be a nice day. So it'll be interesting to see how we decide to do it, whether we just check in. Because I know, well, I kind of forget why I left so early, but. You know, once the spring comes, the fall, the spring gardening calls you and you have to get out there. Otherwise it gets ahead of you and then you're done for. Anyway, so open so it's going to be cold and windy, still March-like around here. So I will be on. Open so is different from this in that you can talk 
to others on the Zoom. Hello, Monty Pop. What a week at the pharmacy, she said. Just sitting now with my fabric to decompress. Oh, you must. You, After a year of this, you must be exhausted. Thank you for doing all of this. I can't imagine. I, I really, I can't. You guys are the heroes. Forever. Ugh. I am going to try very hard not to take for granted just being with people. Which I think will be easier now that I'm not working full time. But I can't, Sherry, enjoy your decompression. It's like this, purples and blues. This is gonna be pretty. It's just fun to put, play in your scraps. My sister is literally in the air right now, or soon to be. She's been traveling across the country coming back from visiting her daughter in Alaska. So, and we did just recently hear from her via text and she's got one more leg to go. I don't know quite where she is, but. Okay. So. There's some purples and blues. Oh, this is fun. Here's a darker blue. So for any of you who may have tuned in a little late, I want to show you the inspiration quilt. There it is. So it's nine patches and half square triangles and some white sashing with a one and a half inch square in between. So let's see what we can make of it. I'm just gonna jump into our scraps that are easiest to cut. Okay, we already did purple. And again, it's all colors. So I should just, I should stop being so picky and just cut, cut, cut. Oh, today in the mail, you will not believe what what we received. It's a quilt. So I've been consulting with uh, Dylan, who was up in Vermont and is now over living in Maine. And he contacted me about a year ago asking for a t-shirt quilt. And I explained to him the process and the price. And he said that was too much, which was understandable. And could he do it himself? So I've been coaching him through it. And I have to tell you how gratifying this has been. He did an amazing job. He went and he cut out his t-shirts. He bought the interfacing. He put that on the t-shirts. Then he proceeded to sew the whole thing by hand. And it has arrived here tonight with a backing ready to quilt. And I have to show you this. He did an amazingly good job. And it's big. All by hand. So it's one, two, three, 
four, five across. And I love the placement that he's done of, of these big, very artsy squares. And then check this out. He figured out how to applique. And I, lo I love this one. So this black is appliqued on another gray t-shirt. Silence is golden, duct tape is silver. Or how about this one? That must be a performer that he put on the red t-shirt all by hand, but now it's got the unifying size. So I'm so impressed. So Dylan, if by any chance you're out there, good job. And tomorrow I will send you thread and design ideas. Oh, and look at this, the avocado in the middle, the avocado pit. Really well done. And I think that's testament to the fact that you can be creative any way you want. And there are no rules in quilting. Sure, there might be guidelines to make it easier for you, but aside from that, I'm just so impressed. Okay. What else is going on? Get a few more. Oh, Linda. Oh, Linda G tells me, tells us that Janome had a bunch of sewing machines coming across the ocean. Oh, here, there she is, Linda. Linda, our son just. Our son just texted that they already got their stimulus check. Whoa, that's great. That is good news. Great. There is reason to be celebrating and hopeful tonight. March 12th, one year. It's really amazing that we have so many vaccines already. From my, my understanding is it's amazing. That's great. Well, Linda was telling us about the Janome sewing machines. I guess there was a transport of them coming over on a cargo ship, and the cargo ship had some trouble. And whether it sank or whether, I'm not quite sure what happened, but they're gone. Hi, Kathy Klein. How are you? We're cutting one and a half inch squares. Because what else do you want to do on Friday night? Bob's downstairs with the band. And we are... All is right with the world right now because we can see an end in sight. My mother's birthday is May 22nd. Can you imagine if we could be vaccinated in time to go celebrate? How fun would that be? My sister's all set and my mother's all set. My aunts and uncles, but nieces and nephews, not yet, of course. So it's just gonna take time. Okay, anyway, I think, let me just get a few more, a few more light ones. <laughs> Look at this. 
that's a piece of Bob's shirt. Or someone's shirt. There we go. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. There's another light one. One and a half. One and a half. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. Oh, so when our next giveaway is going to be in two weeks. So it's still in March. So it's not uh, the 19th, but it is the 26th. March 26th is our next grateful giveaway from Simply Colorful. So those to our new patrons, welcome, and we will make sure your name gets into the drawing. Who's out there? What are you saying? I have to give sewing without the foot pedal a try. Oh, yes. Got put in a wa uh -oh, walking boot today, and it's my right foot. Oh, Carol, I'm sorry. Oh, that. Oh, wow. He really did a fabulous job matching the seams. Didn't he, Sue? And do you know, Sue, he is related to Pat Bleacher. It's Pat Bleacher's great nephew, I believe. So I I just, I'm so impressed. So we have to connect the dots with Pat and make sure she knows, gets in on what we're doing. Oh, Leah's been working on her giraffe. I love that. Yes. Hi, Marcella. We're playing with scraps tonight. I just took a little break to read the comments, but here we are. We're making nine patches out of one and a half inch squares. And then we have to make four half square triangles with the same colors, I do believe. So, okay, first things first, let's lay this out. There. I love these things. Here's a question. Does this read dark or light? I think it reads dark. Just answered my own question. Well, this is going to take forever. I think I'm going to do some strip piecing after this one. You know, like I'll sew strips of light, dark, light, and dark, light, dark. One and a half inch strips, and then I'll cut them. Oh, and I don't need my walking foot anymore. Oh, there we go. So what a year it's been. Let's hold on to the good things from this past year. Oh, you finished your Civil War blocks, Linda? That's great. Go putting in 97D. Okay. 
Get ready for the squeak. It's not fixed, which makes me quite unhappy. Get ready. Oops. Tell it what foot it is. Okay, no squeak. That's good. Light, dark, light. I'm webbing these together, so that's always fun. dark. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so now I have my little nine patch webbed together. And I'm just going to Sew it. Top square facing up so it nests. I mean, top seam. Had I picked out the painting I was going to do last week? Oh, I don't think I had. Or maybe I'd talked about it. So, oh, I bet I haven't even told everyone that I've been painting. I've been taking painting classes, and I'm going to try to copy one of the masters, a Hudson River painter, who's been doing lumen. They, Hudson Valley painters, are the first American painting movement is what I'm learning. And they paint, they were before the Impressionists, like the 1840s to 1860s. And they painted in a luminous approach, lots of transparent oils, one over the other to show light. And it was during, it was when railroads came to be and Thomas Cole in New York City would take the railroad up into the Catskills or out of the city and he would see this pristine landscape just beautiful and they were in awe of it and any of these painters that were traveling and he had some disciples or some people that were going out painting with him they'd never seen anything like that they were whenever they they'd gone back to Europe to learn how to paint or they were from Europe and they'd moved to America and whenever they would go out into the country there would be ruins or there would be old things or they just weren't accustomed to just the pure raw beauty in the Catskills back in the 1800s so they would then, apparently, this was in 1840s when they started, tube paint had not been, been created yet. So instead, these artists would have their paint mixed back in the studio. Either they would do it themselves or oftentimes they'd have someone else mixing up their paint. And they would paint from their mind. They would sketch out there, but they, they would come back in the studio and paint these visions of what that, beautiful pristine landscape was like and it's very it can become spiritual it's romanticized it's it's in their head whatever is is beautiful so if you're at all interested or i'm sure many of you already know about the hudson river painters but you can look up thomas cole asher brown durand is the one i'm going to be copying one of his paintings um bert birdstock i don't know that just look up Hudson Valley painters 
And so the painting I'm going to be doing is called Sunday Morning by Asher Brown Durand. And it's actually the actual painting is in the New Britain Museum of America's Art down in New Britain, Connecticut. So if I really get serious about this, because I'm not sure I can do it with acrylic. Again, he used oil and I'm not going to get oil paint right now, but I'm going to try it. So anyway, I guess that was by Linda Griffin. Anyway, that's my painting story. That's all there is to it. Okay. Oh, so here's my first nine patch. I'm liking it. Turn this on. Well, this could keep us busy, right? The goal is to use up the scraps. I'm turning my corners. Did I do it wrong? Yeah, I did. Okay, light and dark, all different colors. <laughs> what did you do in the last hour? Oh, I made one patch. <sighs> oh, here's some brown from last week's quilt. So, oh, Carol Baldwin. Is it a repetitive motion injury or did you hurt your foot somehow? We said we were going to keep them in strips. Let's do that. This one might already be a quarter of an inch or one and a half. I'm sorry, not a quarter of an inch. Yep, that's one and a half. I think this one we used last week, that's one and a half. Is a good dark one. Can cut one and a half inch from that. Just one and a half. There's a light. So, Carol, Lynn, did you get that? Did you get that terrible rain, thunder, lightning storm last night? No, we didn't. 
Not that I heard. I was, I was uh, sleeping pretty hard last night. I had a good night's sleep, but I did not hear anything. Huh. No, it's been beautiful here the last two days. Sunny and warmer than average. Okay. And here we go. Okay. So now I'm going to take a light strip. I'm going to put dark down one side. There's another dark. this left over so I'm going to put this light underneath it. This is a good way to speed things up. Okay and then here's a dark. I'm going to have so I'm just matching light and dark right now. Okay. So there's that. Now what we do is we cut apart the pieces. And then we add the third strip. So here we have a light dark. Um, yeah, this is where I need more of the strips cut to be cut. Let's see. Okay, hang on, hold this thought. So this will be a light. And we've got some dark there. few of these light. Oh, and this one might have worked out perfectly. There's a third one. Okay. And then let's just cut. Go. getting there. <laughs> Maybe we'll, we'll have made two nine patches, but we will have cut out enough for many more. Okay. There's a dark and a dark. Okay. Now 
Now that we have some more light and dark strips, now go to your light and dark and sew on the opposite side some that have two darks and one light and some that have two lights and one dark. But don't get your fabric caught inside the hole. So now I have some extra dark here and I'm going to take this one that has light and dark and I'm going to put the light on the dark. So now let's make, this is a light and dark. Let's make this two lights and a dark. So I'm going to put this white on the other side. And then we'll iron them and so cut them. And then sew another nine pack. Now, granted, when you do it this way, it's not quite as accurate. My seams aren't anyway. Because I'm I'm rushing and I'm feeding the fabric through fast. I'm trying to keep it trying to keep it nice and what's the word? Aligned. Okay. So there's light, dark light. And here are a couple of dark, light, dark. And let's see. I guess the center fabric, let's iron toward the dark. And I didn't even set my seam, did I? That's okay. I have lots of little threads around. There we go. There's that. And then this will iron the dark out. Right, so I have dark out, dark out. Then let's just, if we're really being smart, we can align these down and they should just nestle right in if you'd ironed them right. So we didn't quite get ironed. So. This, I've ironed the pieces outward. This one, I've ironed the piece seams inward so that when I put them one on top of the other, they should nestle nicely so I can cut it. And then sew it. And it usually works pretty well. Uh-oh, what's that noise? Did we lose someone? Am I losing my power? Okay, we'll be quick here. So I have to square this up. I don't think I lost power, did I? Okay, so look at this. One, two, Three, four. 
There's four. Ugh. Itchy, itchy, itchy. Let's sew them all. How are we doing? Yeah, we have time. Seams are already nested. four of four of them that are dark light dark okay so I'm gonna cut those apart not that I really even needed to but okay and then this is light dark light I mean dark dark light dark Whew. Almost done. Okay. And then, of course, the more we do of these, the more variety we'll have. These are going to look all the same. Two. Three. Four. And while I'm here, I think I have enough for five. Yay, I do. Okay. So. There's that. The seams are nesting on this too. There's that. And let's do that. Almost done. Then we'll have five total. <laughs> Hi, Mom. You're almost ready for the grand finale. We've been making nine patches. Okay. There we go. Hmm. Oh, another thing that I can taste is as soon as I get my vaccine, I'm getting a haircut. <laughs> ah. Okay. There's that. Here's this. So this was the first one we made. Now... We just made four, and I think one of them might be different, but I don't know. Let's see if any of them are different. There's one, two, is the same. Yep, those are the same. Okay. Ah, this one's different, has two blues on the top. And there's that one. Okay. So, again, the inspiration quilt. Let me show that to you one more time. Hopefully, after open sew tomorrow, I'll have one of the squares done. Oh, where are you, inspiration? We lost it. Yeah. So, rather than searching for it, I will have a square done for next week. Hi, Pat. 
Oh, yes. That's your jam. Monty Pup, you have to see Linda's Civil War quilt. Linda does amazing quilts. In fact, she's she's part of that Nebula quilt that um, Tula Pink has designed or someone else has designed with her fabric. Uh, oh, no. Carol leaned out the front door to pick up a package and swung my leg back for balance. Oh, no. Unfortunately, there was a very heavy door that my foot connected with. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, yeah, didn't heal on its own. Good. Get that boot. That'll help. Hi, Joanne. You're late again, but you have a good excuse. Well, you don't even need an excuse. It's so nice to know you're out there. We are making scrappy quilts. So... Oh, Pamela says, I'm letting my hair grow so I can donate to Locks of Love. That's wonderful. That makes the best of it, doesn't it? That's great. Wow. Well, I think we are going to call it for tonight. We made five nine patches. And we have a long way to go, but it's going to be really fun. So I encourage you, oh, at the gym, Joanne. That's a very good excuse. Good for you. Spring is coming, isn't it? Ugh. The mask, you know, there are a lot of bad things about the mask, but one of the good things is it hides the chin. So that's always been nice, but time for spring. Good for you, Joanne, going to the gym. So I think I'm going to wrap it up. So good that, to know that you're all out there. Thank you for being here. Grab your scraps or do something creative this week. Do something that you like to do and do something for someone else. It'll make you feel so good. Bye, everyone. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next week. And patrons, I'll see you tomorrow at Open So. Bye.